So it appears we have a fight. Who am I fighting? The old man going through menopause over there on Paradigm News. Wants to fight a 29 year old, wants to fight a 30 year old. Gotta put his ass down. I know a lot of you guys think a 50 year old guy is gonna beat me up. I don't know what the fuck you or him is thinking in the past. No, come on, JD, are you kidding me? Me fight JD, I would love to. I would love to fight Neil Dezad. I would love to fight a couple of these other motherfuckers, Bozo and Tony Gay. I would love to. Will that happen? Absolutely not. They don't have the heart that a, you know, boxer does apparently. So um, he's who I'm, go I'm going with him. So fuck all the talking about woofing and shit. But if you think I'm gonna play nice until the fight, you're fucking crazy in your head. Hey, who's this? Uh, none other than Savvy Studios. What up, man? Savvy Sav, what's up, man? So trip out, man. I'm doing this little spill right here about, uh, you know, what's transgressed in the last couple days, man, between you and Big Boxer from Paradigm Media News. And, and man, you know, so what happened, bro? Uh, you called him out. I'm hearing that. It was set in stone. Uh, I was going to put my promotional team straight to work behind it. And then shit fell apart, man. Uh, so what happened, brother? Okay, so first thing first, man, uh, I would like to say, if anything, he called me out. Like, not, you know what I mean? We talked, and, you know, he had mentioned that his followers had wanted him to fight me or fight somebody. He never said he had a personal issue with me or nothing like that, and I didn't have one with him, for the record. Um, look, when I asked him how old he was, he said he was in his 40s. It turns out he's 50, 51 or so. Uh, and I still, I went on and made my video after I seen his post, because like any other man, any type of individual, we got some pride, we got some ego, but... I couldn't make it make sense, man. I'm gonna sit there in the ring and guess what? If I win, I lose. If I lose, I triple lose. Listen, if I win, anybody who's gonna be watching this, anybody who's tapping into this video right now, which would be a lot of people, they would be completely lying to you. If they're gonna sit there and say, if I win, they're gonna be like, oh, well, I mean, he was 50, homie, relax. Oh, well, kudos for you. You know, you beat up on a 50 year old. Now, listen, man, I'm not gonna sit there and take nothing away from this guy. I'm not gonna take nothing away from, from his record and from his stories and everything. But a lot of these viewers, they tap in for story time. They tap in for a man that they don't know, never seen, never been around just stories they heard. And that's enough for them to believe everything. For me, I'm looking for a fight. I'm looking for a very specific fight. I've talked to UFC fighters. I've talked to friends that are professional boxers. The smartest thing that I could do, in their opinions as well as my own, is to have go ahead and cancel this. Cause I could have yoked this cow for quite some time. I, I think we had three to four months to go ahead and run promotions on this fight. I could have, man, I could have kept going, but I made sure once I really was solid inside to just say, you know what, this isn't it. Cause don't get me wrong, I'm still fighting. I'm still gonna be fighting on your guys' card, your guys' event, and I still will be seeing him there. I'm saying, show that you're, show that you're worthy at 50 in a ring. I'm not gonna debut on you unless I, I'm not even gonna fight you in the ring unless I know that you have a potential at lasting all five rounds and actually beating me. Not coming out and trying to take my head off for the first 30 to 40 seconds when that doesn't happen, then it's all over. I'm not good with that. I'm not okay with that. I'm trying to prove something to a, to a bigger audience, not a YouTube audience, but a fight audience. I'm trying to debut for what could possibly and potentially be a boxing career for myself. So whatever people's opinions and ideas and whatever they got to say, it could be warranted, it could be justified. I'm not even gonna say they're wrong for calling me whatever names they wanna call me. But like I said in my community post, I think yesterday, my actions from this point on will go ahead and dictate everything that I need to say with my mouth.